Good morning, everyone. Dr. Kimball here at uh, the Spine Doc. I just want to give you an update on COVID-19 and how it's affecting our practice, our neurosurgery group. So obviously the world is in a, a craze right now and anything associated with any service industry is in a huge craze. Uh, our practices have really kind of come to a almost complete halt as far as at least face-to-face -face visits. This week we canceled a bunch of elective surgery. We still have some urgent or what we consider non-elective surgeries on the books that will get done this week and then we'll continue to take care of patients as they come through the hospital for emergency things like brain hemorrhages, spinal cord injuries, um, aneurysm ruptures and strokes and, and all the other emergency things that people are going to continue to have uh, to come to the hospital for but it's really been super disruptive to the practice I think even more so uh, than the actual health threat affiliated with the virus I have been more affected and our practice has been more affected by just the social consequences the trade consequences and, and really the biggest thing that's making a huge impact on our practice well I think it's not just our practice but everyone is the uncertainty. Americans, human beings in general, are afraid of what they don't know, and, and, and so they start, you know, filling their uh, houses with items that they think they could not go without. While we're trying to keep things moving in our practice, we don't want, want, don't want to, to slow things down, and so we're trying to find other ways to interact with patients, and we are ramping in a telemedicine component to our practice and so the patients that we can't get in to see face to face we'll be seeing them via telemedicine we're also offering to hospitals um, in the area uh, tele neurosurgery emergency coverage so we can actually skype in or uh, facetime in whatever application the one that we use is zoom uh, to uh, interact with patients in an emergency setting and these may not be absolute emergencies, but sometimes hospitals just need help from a board certified neurosurgeon to let them know that what, you know, whatever course of care is appropriate and to make um, recommendations that we can, can vouch for. That's where we're going in our practice. We're hoping that uh, everyone will stay safe and healthy, not only in our practice, but elsewhere. We're trying to do our part to keep the world safe and uh, you know, blunt the curve. Uh, at the same time, we are health providers and we have a responsibility to take care of our patients and uh, we wanna keep doing that at the same time. So <clears throat> a lot of craziness out there. Hopefully we can all keep our heads on, stay sane, and um, rather than be a part of the panic, be hopefully part of a, a more level-headed solution. Uh, thanks so much.